Welcome back to our tech. Today we're going to find a way to wirelessly play videos on your TV or your computer using your router. Isn't it going to be cool to play one file which is stored on one hard disk in one location on multiple devices like your computers or your TV or your laptop or your mobile phone from a single source? That's exactly what we're going to do on this video. So we're going to use your modem or your router which has a USB port, attach a hard disk or a pen drive to it and share that file wirelessly across multiple devices. Uh, we're going to see how we're going to do that today. Uh, it's a very simple process. You do have a few requirements. You need to get one of these USB enabled routers. Uh, it's not very uncommon these days. You find these in the market. Most of the routers come with it. All you need is one of these. I have a TP-Link Archer C2 router which has the USB port and I've connected my hard disk to it. Uh, there are a couple of things you need to do. You need to log into your browser. Uh, depending on what router you have, you need to just uh, enter the credentials, get into the router, log in as an admin or whatever user you have. Browse through the settings until you actually get uh, USB settings. And uh, you would notice based on the router you have, there'll be a couple of options. One is, you know, to enable sharing. So this is basically going to give the first level of access saying that, you know, anybody can share, anybody can access a file from your router once connected to a hard disk. So you need to make sure that this is enabled. You also get to create user accounts, as I said. So if you want to ensure that you have different people in your house or a small office and you want to limit access, you can use that option. You have an option to enable FTP server. We're not going to get into that today. And then I have the option where I see media server. So once you go to media server, you will see that if you have a hard disk connected, it will already show there. Or if you have a pen drive, it will show there. Right now it shows that I have connected my hard disk. Uh, when you click on this edit button, it will actually let you select the hard disk as a whole, wherein you just share the entire contents of it. Or you have an option to select one separate folder or one particular folder which you want to share. So right now I've left it to share the entire hard disk. You can also give a name for these uh, shares that you're doing. The media share can have a name. The share name I've selected or chosen is three or six movies. So that's what I'm using. And once you do that, you also get to see the files through this particular browser window on your system. So once you do that, uh, you will see that your hard disk is getting accessed by the router. And I've just kept it down here so that I can show it to you guys. So, you, you know, it's, it's going to be kept somewhere else, just make sure that you have enough space for your portable drive to be kept somewhere. My modem is mounted on a wall, so that's the reason I had to take it down. Uh, just to show you how it works on a desktop, you just go to your My Computer option and then you should see uh, this PC on a Windows 10. And once you click on this PC, you will be able to see the file straight away. That means the volume is actually being accessed wireless. It also shows you the name of the media share. So you can either click on that or on the on the folder directly. So once you double click, you get access to all the files inside. Okay, getting back to the TV. This is where it gets a little interesting. I have a very basic Android TV. It's not an Android certified TV. It's just a third party Android TV as a third party app store. So you will need a couple of things to do before you start looking at the files from the router. So your TV needs to have wireless, all right? Once it has wireless, you go to your mobile market or your app store based on the TV you have. Uh, do a quick search for UPnP, right? You'll have to search for the keyword UPnP. Uh, you can also search for other keywords like DLNA and a lot of other keywords, but I found this to be the easiest. So if you just put UPnP, it kind of uh, throws out, okay, I think I made a mistake. So it's UPnP only, don't, don't put anything else because you just put your UPnP and you will see that it will throw in a lot of options. And remember, this is just a media, media share browser. Nothing complicated about this. So once you install this app, I already have uh, something called as Bubble PNP, which is already installed, but I'm just showing you that any other app also will work as good. So I'm just going to download uh, any one of them which has good or good ratings. That should do the trick. So once you install this, they say to all the permissions it requires.
you'll see that when I click on the video option, it's going to throw up. Well, it's going to show me that, uh, okay, I, I think I'll have to click, click the network button or the DLNA button. So once I click on that, it shows me the share name. So again, it's the media share one under which I have all the files stored on the hard disk. And there's the three or six movie folder. And there are my files. How cool is that? So when I click on any of these, I'm just trying to see what is our app to play here. So I'll just show you a quick sample. So I click on one of these files. Uh, let me go back again. And it's just going to play the file directly. Just remember, there will be some sort of lag because it's actually accessing the file through your network. So this is a dual band router, but still, um, Unfortunately, the TV doesn't have dual band, so it's going to access the network through the 2.4 gigahertz channel, which means it's the same channel every other device in your house is actually accessing. So that could lead to some sort of delay. So once you select the player, it's going to start playing the file straight away if everything is all right. And the format depends on what your TV can play. So, so there you go, the movie starts playing. I tried skipping it ahead, but you know, it kind of stopped because of the lag. So I, I'll, let me show you something else. Yep. So if I click on another file, there's no problem at all. And it, it can play full HD as well. So how cool is that? Playing something wirelessly on your TV, just using your router and a hard disk anywhere in your house with any device. So that's my short video on this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button or dislike button. Do subscribe, leave your comments down there. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.